Well, holy cow, folks. I just got to say that uh, growth stocks are taking off, and we're going to be talking about two growth stocks in our portfolio, or at least one that was, and uh, the other one it still is, and that's Beyond Meat and Tesla. Okay, hi folks and welcome back to Easy Finances. I'm Wes and we're going to be looking at the portfolio today because we have some exciting gains. Now, I will have to say that those might be lucky gains. I am not a financial advisor and if you have uh, a personal question about your finances, please find a financial advisor. This is just what what I'm doing and uh, something I'm putting on for everybody and hopefully you'll get some use out of it and enjoy it. So here we go with the growth stocks that uh, we're talking about today. We're up 33.46%. I don't know if you if you remember the last video, but it wasn't up that much at all. To, to be up 33.46% is, is quite a bit. If we look over what it's done in the last month, it's gone up 15% for the growth stocks. And you see that's where all the growth is. And high dividend stocks is not doing so well in our portfolio. And we're gonna do some adjustments here today with that as well. So for, for the last three months, it's up 37.3%, 0.03% that is. Today it was up at 1.73% for growth stocks. And for the one week, we we're only up 2.02%. I've made some changes here to the growth stock portfolio. And the reason why is, is that uh, it was the Beyond Meat that I was in, BYND. I would sold Google and, and put BYND in there. And that was in one of my previous videos. Uh, please go back and find that and, and watch it if, if you're interested. And... You can see that we that we did make a 57% or 50 some percent gain on that. So let's take a look where we sold it. Okay, so this is where we bought it and pull this up. It's uh, Beyond Meat we bought for six dollars and ninety one cents, and we had sold Google and a few others here that that we didn't want, and we we had picked that up for six dollars and ninety one cents. Now let me show you what I sold it for. This is the fun part. I sold that for $11.28 and that was a phenomenal gain and the reason I picked up Beyond Meat was because I thought it was gonna grow over the next few years. I did not expect it to grow that much in a week. And I think it's gr grown more since then but I, I felt it was a little richly uh, priced right now and I went ahead and got out of it and sold it for a profit. I'm not sad about that. If we go back to our portfolio, we look at the growth stocks, we're going to see that some of the others have done quite well too. But the big one I want to talk about is Tesla. We're up 81% on Tesla. And that was a long-term play. I When I took Beyond Meat out of it, I went ahead and bumped up the percentages of everything else that I have in here. Um, the only one that I really don't think is performing well is Berkshire Hathaway. And I think uh, for the long play, that's probably still going to be okay. It's fine to, to keep that. But Tesla has been amazing, 81%. And I still think that that's a long-term play. And I just wanted to show you guys what's what's possible with growth stocks. And again, I do a lot of speculation on these. Obviously, I'm thinking about uh, cultural norms, things that are happening. And what I'm going to actually do, and I'm going to do that here today, is lower the percentage of my portfolio that's devoted to growth stocks and high yield dividends so just as a little bit of a risk abatement and try to go ahead and set up things a little bit differently so our portfolio can withstand a we god forbid hit some kind of a, a bump or a recession or something then uh, we're gonna be all set for that but those two growth stocks beyond meat and tesla beyond meat i don't see as a good long-term play right now because i think it's richly priced and I think that um, all of the gains that the company are going to make are already priced into the stock. That being said, it keeps going up, so you never know. I just felt, for, for my purposes, it was getting a little rich, and I wanted to get out of it. Tesla, on the other hand, I think it's got a lot more growth. It's got legs. It's got a lot more things that uh, it can do in the future. It's it's pumping out new factories, new cars. Um, I, I mean, they've got... A great program there, Tesla, and I want to hold that on, hold on to that for the long haul. Uber, same thing. I think that's a big play in that uh, in that market, and that's something I don't have a lot of exposure to. And I think long run, they're going to do quite well. I did hear some bad news about them recently um, in South America. I think it was that uh, they're having a hard time. They're being kicked out of some of the cities. We'll we'll stick with them too and see how that goes. 
But for today, we're, we're that's 33.46% on the growth stocks, that is. And um, that's amazing. So you see the second biggest is going to be gain is, is going to be in the dividend growth stocks. So right now, what I'm going to do is I think the overall market is is pretty rich right now and I, I think it's uh, I just want to set myself up and cut back the risk a little bit and in doing that we're gonna edit our portfolio just like this edit and we're gonna go grow stocks we're gonna keep that at 10 percent high dividend stocks we'll do that at 10 percent so we got 30 percent left we're gonna spread that out amongst these so we'll put 15 in here and 15 in our ETFs if I can add here and that way we're gonna be set up in the future it's not gonna sell anything that we have now but all of the and you can see that it's put these way overweight and these underweight so any new monies that are coming in so Thursday is gonna be the first first one to go in there are going to be applied to these two pieces of the pie which is fine I'm fine with that I don't want to punish the winners that we have as far as the growth stocks especially uh, high dividend stocks it's in there for a reason it's it's producing an income for the portfolio uh, regular dividends but I still I I think it's dragging down the portfolio overall in an effort to uh, stop that from happening and it, I gotta think though also if it's it's booming economy right now and booming stock market and these things aren't performing that well how's it gonna happen how's it gonna uh, hold up in a downfall so if the stock market goes down a bit how's it gonna hold up I don't think it's gonna hold up well so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of those same way with growth stocks it's gonna be a huge loss on the growth stocks if the economy goes south a little bit so I just want to cut that risk back just a little bit put a 10% we're gonna keep it at the same dollar amount it's not gonna like I said it's not gonna sell any of those so we're going to keep it at that and we're getting more money into the portfolio now and as we get more money in, in there we got to take risk a, a little more seriously and um, we'll keep those pieces of the pie in there cut back our risk and see how we do the big story for the last couple weeks here has been uh, growth stocks for the past month or so actually it's 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 amazing with trade deals uh, the good economy good news everywhere you see those growth stocks really flying right now and that is possible uh, if if that's the arena that you want to play in I would say be very careful with that because even though with the good economy right now that's the first that's the one that's gonna go up the most that's also gonna be the first one that's gonna crash too if uh, the economy turns south so it's gonna have big losses if that goes south whereas your regular dividend stocks and I'll show you the types of companies I'm talking about there are gonna hold up so you have some utilities you got Pepsi consumer staples more defensive plays and long-term blue chip stocks are gonna hold up a little bit better in a downturn they're still gonna get hit don't get me wrong but uh, it's gonna hold up just a little bit better than than probably your gross stocks your Tesla and your uber are gonna hold up and we'll see you know that's that's my theory obviously and and we'll see hopefully we don't have to find out too soon we have a a nice ride up and hopefully everybody's making a lot of money but I just wanted to show that for this week, and I hope everybody enjoyed the video. If you do enjoy the video, please like, share, uh, subscribe. It really helps when you when you hit that like button. It gets that algorithm going, and then we uh, can get a lot more views, and we can do a lot more stuff on this channel in the future. Other than that, if you are interested in any of these, this particular portfolio, I'm going to leave a link to it in the description. And if you want to sign up this month in January here, you get $20, and I get $20 to invest from M1 Finance if you sign up using that link. Thank you.